All right. Get in here, get in here. Is it on yet? It is on, should be on. I, I think I added a countdown, so. But yeah. We're alive, ladies and gentlemen. We are alive. Hey guys, um, can you share this? Can you share the link to this broadcast, please? Tweet this broadcast. Um, like this video if you're on this video now like it give us a thumbs up um, And yeah, invite your friends and your not so friendly friends to come and join this chat. So Let's get this cast on a more debrief Wait, Story let's do our intro first. Are you gonna give it a little bit? No, huh? I'm just saying I'm not, I'm not starting yet. I'm just saying you yeah, should call people in it invite people guys He's staring up, he's staring up. Um, oh, I've got my friends. I can't even retweet can one of you tweet, please? Or Shay, can you know how to do it? Just chill out. I'm going to do it now. Just go like that. Just share this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Am I not doing it? Look, I'm already on there. Calm okay. down. Chill out. How's everyone doing today? Exactly. What did you all think of today's episode? Exactly. They're, they're at it already. Guys, we'll see you lot chatting away before we even. Exactly. Oh, apologies for our tardiness, by the way. Yeah, we were a little bit late to start. Um, guys, let us know. Um, um, can you hear us? I'm sure. I'm assuming they can, because nobody yeah. said they can't. They can't not hear us. Put a one in the chat if you can hear us. Guys, put a one in the chat if you can hear us. We'll wait. Let us know. Thank you, Missy Hallier. She said we look beautiful. Okay, okay so you can hear us. The sound is good. Okay, cool. Excellent. Oh, we didn't do it right. Don't worry. I'll put it. I'll put it. Okay, there's a lot of ones. Another yeah. One. Thanks, guys. Another one. Thank you. We're testing out a new microphone, so we just want to make sure that y'all can hear us. Not that we need a mic. Right? Exactly. No. But you know. Maria Gonzalez says she's glad Mar Molly is back. So, Maria, we, we need to talk to you. We're glad too. <laughs> Can't you tell? We're thrilled. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's let's get on with it then. 37 minutes in. Sorry, seven minutes in. So let's get on with it. Right, ready? Introductions. Ready? Go. Hey YouTube, what did you do, Charlie? I'm Anna Mae. I'm Shay. Okay. And you're watching Shikay TV. TV. Welcome to another um, Love Island reaction, guys. So a bit of housekeeping. Can you subscribe to our channel? Can you like this video? And can you also leave a juicy comment? And share, share the link to this, um, share the link to this broadcast so that other people can join. Also, guys, can you follow all of our social medias? Um, we've added the social medias in one of the corners of this video. So all of our social medias, our Instagram, our um, Twitter. Twitter, our YouTube, our TikTok, our Facebook, and also our Vivo, because we, we do music. music. And our new song for life is out right now. Um, we'll leave it in the description and in the comments so you guys can run those streams up and also watch our video on Vivo. So... Let's get to this um, reaction. So this is episode 28, um, season 10 of Love Island. So this was the Casa Amor introduction, the full introduction of Casa Amor, because we met the girls as well this, yeah. this episode. So we kind of introduced the guys in our last Yeah. Game. So the girls now. Well, 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 let's say how it started and then we'll go to the girls. So it basically started with the guys introducing themselves to the guys introducing themselves to the girls in the house, right? Mm. So how did you think that went? I mean, I mean, was it, was it, um, is Ben the one with that hair? Is he, is he the masseuse? He's not a masseuse, he's a, he owns, I think he said he owns a fitness Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one he's with Benjamin. that hair. Yeah, he's Benjamin. Okay, yeah. Oh, I know what I was going to say. It, the way he said, oh, girl, are you going to come and say hello or whatever? Mm. And then Whitney's like, well, you should come to us. Mm. But anyway, I thought that was cool because yeah. Guys, I was supposed to do the walk, yeah. didn't you? The girls I was looking at them. Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of, you know that when um guys are in cars and they try and call you to their car? Oh, cool. Like you're a cool girl, isn't it? Like you're a hope. It's just kind of like, as a man, you're supposed to go and introduce yourself to the woman. Like you're not supposed to call the woman to you. To, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that Whitney She's spoke okay. up about that. So so what did you guys think about the, the, the introductions, like when they were sitting around the fire pit? I don't even know. Like, they didn't really, really say much, did yeah. they? Whitney, like, not Whitney, um, Catherine. She's, she's an eager baby, man. 
Do you know what? Okay, okay. So obviously they, they they did the layup on yesterday's program, didn't they? Like Scott basically said he has a feeling that Catherine might stray because of all the doubts that people put in her mind. Mm. And then, you know, Catherine kind of said, "Well, I really like Scott. I like where things are going, but we're both open." So I don't think she was disrespectful about it. No. He wasn't disrespectful until this program. He kind of made a comment that was kind of like, yeah. you know. But um, you know, like I, I, I don't know. What you went all right? Yeah. Like, hey. No, it was just funny when um, is it is it Luckham? When he was like, oh, I work in Birmingham. She's like, oh, oh yeah, I'm in Birmingham. Was it Luckham? It was Luckham. It was Luckham. Yeah. He's actually good looking. He's yeah. very good. Like, no, like, even though he shaved his beard, I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. But when he said Birmingham, I'm like, mm, okay. I was surprised. Let's see, see, see what's going on here. Mm. Definitely a bit of South there. Okay, mm. thank you, Simply Tash, for the super chat. We love oh, you too. Wow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So that. that that was an interesting conversation. And I think after that conversation, this this is what made me really crack me up when the girls were debriefing and Jess was like, she likes Zachary. And we said it yesterday. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's like, like a the miniature, miniature, um, he's Sammy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally it's like a petite Sammy. It's petite, isn't it? And she, she said, he's the only one. Mm. He's the so only sweet. one that she finds attractive. Mm. And all of the guys there, mm. he's the only one. Mm. They yeah. must have threw him in for her. Yeah. Because that is very specific. Yeah, yeah. she loves the curtains, curtains and teeth. The curtains and teeth combo yeah. is very specific. Let's talk about Ella. Oh. Mm, Ella so and I, Uzi. Yeah, so I thought it was very interesting that Ella said she is almost like. See, yeah. I like oh. Ella, yeah, because I, I want I do want Ella to straighten Casa Amor, but I know she's not going to. So this thing that she's doing with Uzi is it's actually a bit annoying because it's almost like she's blocking. She's, she's blocking. Him. Him. She's yeah. blocking everyone else. She's yeah. kind of like, yeah, yeah. yeah I know him from before. I knew he was going to take me out on a date. I knew he liked me. It's almost like she's letting the girls know He's you don't have a chance. He's off limits. But it's kind of like, but you don't want him anyway. Mm. So it's, I, 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 that kind of annoyed me a little bit because I feel like she could be blocking things for the other girls and specifically Whitney. And but I mean, but he did come in there and say that. Like when in his write up and in his VT, mm. it was Ella that he said he didn't, oh, he didn't mention. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then he shot himself in the foot then. So, I yeah. almost think Whitney is gonna go for. What's the the, yeah. yeah. I feel like, and I feel like they're, I don't they're mind that. vibe there. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind that at all. I'm not sure if the vibe is there from him though. I'm still, I'm still trying to mm. work I mean, him. I'm still trying to work him out. I mean, he asked to share a bit, didn't he? He was the only one. He was the first one. That, uh, yeah. He asked. Mm. I'm still trying to work it out, but. I do think that he's a she's he's a better fit for her versus what she had before. Do you know mm, what I mean? So um, I, I I think it's quite obvious that Whitney has a specific type. Do you know what I mean? Whitney has a type that she she goes for. It's either they're you know Mediterranean looking or you know a certain kind of look or they're black and they're rich. Like Whitney's got a type. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So you know and we're not mad at it. It is what it is, isn't it? So um, well, they they said that she um. Her her um celebrity crush was the, the guy the guy that, 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 that the, 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 he's from um that Olivia Pope. Show you used to watch yeah like scandal scandal oh, from, right. I, used to, I used to be obsessed with scandal yes. but the irony of that being her mm, yeah. he basically if anybody watched Power uh, sorry scandal he basically was playing the president this white man was playing the lead the, the president and he was basically married a married white man having an affair with a black woman Olivia Pope Kerry Washington and it was basically the battle. You know, race always came into it, the, the power dynamic, you know, the show was quite deep, but there was always that, I wouldn't say it was covert or it was definitely over message of the power dynamic of the racial dynamic of their relationship. So the fact that that is Whitney's celebrity crush, it, it, it just speaks volumes to me like, and, and it almost explains a lot of things, mm, you know. Mm, mm. It'll be um, interesting. I really hope you get to speak to Whitney. Mm, I think yeah. she, you know, I think that she's a really interesting person. Mm. Um, but yeah, so Whitney and Lacom look like they, they they've got some kind of connection going. Mm. But I, I still, I'm still, you know, still early days. It's all early days. So okay, so, so sorry, quickly, guys. Somebody called Carl is asking, "What is a microaggression?" Does anyone want to quickly explain it? You lot, Carl. Sorry, Carl. Carl, before we explain, can you answer in the question? Are you? What's your ethnicity? I, I just want to know before we answer. Let, when you answer, we'll, we'll give you the answer to the question. Go on. What, what was the next thing, anyway? Um, no, no. I, I was going to move on to the guys. So the guys were in the villa. He said he's not asking that. Oh, okay. Sorry. What? What? He's having a discussion with Bodge. Okay, he's asking what was the microaggression. Oh, okay. Microaggression with who? I don't know. They're, they're, having, they're having a private yeah, conversation. Yeah, oh, no, no problem. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. 
um, yeah, so um, they then went to the boys. The boys were in the villa and they were basically having a conversation between before. No, first they packed the girls' bags the night before. Mm. Really? Like, didn't happen a bit later? I thought it, 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 it was, was the same night. It was a night. It was a night. It was the same night. Before. It was the same night the girls left. I yeah. Think. The same yeah. night that they packed yeah. their bags. So they packed their bags and everyone tried to do something memorable or whatever. Um, Montel was pretending that he, he missed Leah. Um, yeah, so. Um, <laughs> um, it's like Montel's been in the house two minutes. It's like, what, what is it? Yeah, deep conversation. About what? I be actually believe Leah more than I believe him. Leah, yeah, I, I don't genuinely believe, believe she's attached. She attaches quickly, but him. Um, no, I don't know, I know about know. Leah, you know. Leah's, I, Le Le Leah's been around the house. Leah's, Leah's developed a bond with everybody in the house. <laughs> Leah was giving Medi yeah. a chance, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, she's, 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 attached, she's attached to everybody. So at the end of the day, you know, whatever. So, um, okay, so they were having a conversation after they packed the bags. No, sorry, this was in the morning. The morning happens, they wake up, and the guys were having a conversation on the, de on the I don't know what it was, on the lounges or whatever. And um, Scott, somebody must have asked Scott, oh, is he, or Scott just said, oh, he's missing Catherine. But when the new girls come in, that's oh, going to change. That's going to change. Yeah. 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 So laughing. everyone started laughing. Yeah. yeah. So, and, then Monta, and then Ty was like, you're finally saying the truth. Yeah. Something. They Monta, said, said something like that. That's awesome. We were right. Something mm. like that. And it's kind of like, it's up. like, the thing is, I feel like Scott is getting too comfortable. Yeah. It's almost like the girls are gone. The guys are kind of being a little bit nice to him. They yeah. don't like you. Bro. And he, 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 he's misreading the situation. He thinks he's in a safe place. Yeah. Loose. And they're going to use it against him. And that is definitely going to be a clip they're going to show in, 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 in the movie night. Yeah, yeah. In the movie night, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, right, we, even even when this whole Scott, um, Catherine and Tyreek thing happened, when Tyreek and the rest of the boys basically called Scott fake, for us, first... But I, I think my main issue with the whole thing was that it was coming from Tyree. Mm. It's kind of like, you've literally been playing games since you walked in. Exactly. You've been treating her like a doormat. So out of everybody, who are you to say who is genuine and who is not? Exactly. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, the way he's gone the way he's gone about this whole Catherine thing, for me, it's like anytime somebody shows Catherine interest, it's not real. Mm. It's fake. They don't like her. Or, oh yeah, you like the white girls more than you like. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And for me, I just feel like, there's a lot of underlying things that Tariq is just not saying. Yeah. But from his behaviour and from the kind of things that he says, like, oh, you prefer this person more or mm. you've got a, you're better suited to this person or you're better... Yeah. It's kind of like, who are you? You've mm. never even been in a relationship. Mm. So that was our issue. Another thing as well, I think we had a conversation with Kay and Kay was saying, I think in the last... Um, we had yesterday, Kay was saying, oh, she hopes that Catherine doesn't mm. couple up with anybody. Well, I said I mean, in the sense that I don't want her to couple up and him not to. No one, that optics are going to look terrible. No, I know. So me and That's Shay were saying that how we don't think it matters. We just think that Catherine needs to explore her options because right now, everybody looks like Catherine like a doormat. Mm. And it's almost like, so I think somebody even left a comment and was like, oh, Scott only coppered up with Catherine because he didn't have a choice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So all them kind of things, it's kind of like, no, don't, don't try and... Like, no, but, no, but, no, but during yeah. the picking, during the picking, isn't it? That like, obviously... During the day, he already made his choice that it was Catherine that he left. But when it was time for the selection, mm. Montel picked Leah first. Somebody picked Leah first. So, mm. they, so people are basically saying that if Scott had the opportunity to pick Leah, he would have picked her. So it's almost like you're never really going to know kind mm. of a thing. Do you know what I mean? But but obviously, we watched the episode and he made he took her, he took Catherine to the terrace and he kissed her. So he made his choice. Mm. And that was after the conversation that he had with Leah. So he made it very clear who he wanted. But anyway, the point I'm making is that We've always said that we want Catherine to explore her options because her and Scott are not committed. They're not closed off. They're not. So why should she be acting like a nun? And she and she every every time ever since Catherine has come into the house, this is what she's done. She gets with somebody and that's it. Yeah. Like she doesn't say she's closed off, but she is because yeah. she doesn't look elsewhere. She doesn't talk to anybody else. And every time she's been played, the only person that didn't play her was Andre. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it's I, I personally I agree. I do think. It's very, even though I do, I think Ty is forward and I think Ty is, you know, wrong, definitely the wrong messenger, whatever it is he's saying, there possibly could be something that the boys are seeing about Scott, why they're saying it, even though I still think deep down that Ty is just playing the game, and I, which is why he's, he's, he's almost, you know, you know that thing of calling someone a game player, so it's almost like 
that starts the mm -hmm. Chinese whispers and it almost like taints that person's character. Everybody yeah. knows in a game in a game show. Once you do that, it's like you've tainted that person's character. So yeah. the worst thing you can do is call somebody a game player. That's the first thing. But secondly, as I keep on saying, none of the boys are closed off. The only boys that are closed off is Tyreek. So if that's the case, why isn't Tyreek saying everybody else is being fake too? Mm. Why isn't he saying that? He, he's very specific about some whoever is likes Catherine. That is the that is the issue we have. Whoever likes Catherine is faking. This is, this is the issue that we have. That's what that's how time it keeps on doing things. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, I'm glad that 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 Catherine is cracking on because based on the, a couple of comments that Scott has already made before the girls even arrived, it's it's looking like Scott is definitely going to explore his options as well. Mm. So I'm glad that Catherine is doing her thing, you know. But um, anyway, so um, so I think after that comment was made, they now brought in the girls into Casa Amor. So let's so let's talk about the girls. Have you, have you got the list of the girls? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got um, Tink, Tink Reading or Reading. I'm not sure how you say it. She's 26. She's a project manager. It's that one. Okay. She's pretty. She's, she's really cute. Pretty, yeah. She's cute. Uh, okay. Sorry. She... Sorry. I want to. I, I need to address something, please. Somebody's saying, ladies, please don't be biased. We all love Kath, but we would. Let's be real. She could handle things the India way, not the Tanya way. Now, stop comparing these girls. Yeah. Catherine is not behaving like Tanya. The difference between Tanya and Catherine is, is that Tanya, before Ta before Tanya even went to Casa Amor, Tanya told um and um Shaq were telling each other that they love each other. Yeah. They were they were telling each other that they're in love. It's a completely different scenario. A completely different scenario. Now India, yes, India didn't kiss um the guy that she was with, I can't remember his name, but she brought him back to the house. Mm. So what was it? I can't remember his name. Deji. 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 But she brought him back to the house. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yes, India, you're right. India didn't kiss Deji. And according to Deji, according to Deji, he felt that they were quite physically close. Yeah, Obviously, they yeah. didn't kiss, but they were quite physically not out of a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and Catherine, they're, they're not um, nothing. Yeah, so, look, black girls are not a monolith. Let's stop comparing them. And at the end of the day, we've been very mindful of not doing that, it's doing that at all. And I think it's very important that we see each, see each character differently. She's not the same. Whether or not you think that she should be kissing or whatever, fine. But her and Scott are not closed off. If Ella kisses somebody now, then you can talk. Mm. Anyway, yeah. go on. Uh, okay, so that was Tink. Did she say who she liked while she was there? Uh, they all said, but I don't think they liked. I think she said she liked Zach. She said Tyreek. She said Tyreek was giving her eyes. Oh, did she? Yeah. She said Tyreek was giving her eyes. They, they all, well, um, the um, Gabby. After what's her name gave her a little speech, and Gabby was like, "Sorry, um, Molly, yeah. but Zach is nice." So all, all of like, yeah, 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 I really, I really hope that they, they all make a play for Zach because I'm sorry, but Molly just needs to go home. Yes. Anyway, go on, Ken. Uh, so that's Tink, and then Danielle Mazindu, who's she's Danielle? 25, from okay. Liverpool. Okay. Um, I feel that. Like yeah, go on. Yeah. Danielle is giving me um, what's that girl that kissed them? Um, with that other guy last? She's giving me Linda. Not no, not Linda. What's the girl? The girl, the girl, the, girl, the, the one that makes cakes. Oh, um, the one that kissed her. Um, Cynthia. Cynthia. She's oh, giving me Cynthia. Him. She's giving me Cynthia. Really? Yeah. I'm getting Cynthia. I'm getting Cynthia. Linda. I'm getting Linda vibes. I, I don't know. I don't think she's got as much swag as Cynthia. I think she's I thought that Cynthia had a bit more swag. Yeah. But I know what you mean in terms, is, of, in terms of in terms of the casting. In terms of the casting, I, I get what you mean. Yeah. We know she's going for it because she's in Liverpool. And then we've got she, Amber Wise. Who's she known for? Did she say? Did she yeah. say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's everyone yeah. that's not she's, yeah. she's from Liverpool, so who's she going to go for? All right, and then we've got... Said that wig is not sitting right. Yeah, me. It was a bit pointed, though, from the side. <sighs> who said it? Yeah, me. But it was. I did point. notice it, but I, I, I just thought, well, it's early days, isn't it? Early days. She might flatten it. Yeah. She might whip out the flat iron. Yeah. Then we've got Amber Wise. That's the 19 year old. Okay. Uh, um, Amber's cute, beautiful. but I think she's, she's a bit young. Yeah. So was, what's her face? Michael Owen's daughter. She yeah. Was I think mean, this girl's supposed to be a footballer's daughter as well. I think something like that. Just I repeating something. the same formula. Guys, man. The wig is giving pasta's wife. <laughs> Look, when she gets the flat iron, it's hot. Maybe when she gets the flat irons out, she, she might will. flatten it. She might whip that in the night while mm. everyone's asleep. She might just get to the bottom. <laughs> flatten that shit. She needs Whitney's help. Oh, that's true. Look, ladies. Whitney's the wig maker. Mm. She's Whitney's the wig, the wig, wig whisperer, isn't it? Mm. Wig whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got Gabby Jeffrey. She's the um, Ella lookalike. Okay, so so far out of the new girls, Gabby is my favourite. 
Mm, I, I, there's something about Gabby. She's got a she's got a likability about her. She's she's Ty's gentle. Definitely. She's gentle. I, I like her. I like I like Gabby. Ty's do you, do you think that um you know because you know in London yeah. there's kind of like there's there's they, we have loads of different I don't want to say dialects but um. I'm not, I'm not accents. We have different accents, right? But yeah. black people, we have like a, quite a few. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we've got like the South London accent. We've yeah. got the Essex accent. But it's like the road it's, man. We've got the road man, but you know, like almost like it's an ur urban black yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think they've got the same thing in Glasgow? Because they, that girl sounds exactly like Ella. When she was talking, they sound... The new one, yeah. yeah. And she's from Newcastle. They're not from the same she place. Yeah. But I know Newcastle. you mean. Are they from, oh, they're not from um, Scotland? No. no she, um, this one is Newcastle. Oh, so she's like Jordan. Jordan. She's I know like, you mean it's not an accent, it's, it's a tonation. There's something. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. She's it's similar, tone, similar yeah. tone. Yeah, similar tone. Yeah. But she's not the same. Yeah, she like they've, they've got a way that they speak. Yeah, but I feel like I, I like Gabby. I like mm. her energy. Like yeah, I feel I like, like she's a really, really beautiful girl. But there's something very open about her. Mm. So I, I really like her. She's, I hope someone brings her back. Yeah, she comes across really nice. I, I like Gabby. Then we got uh, Abby Moore's. She's 25, she's the blonde girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her as well. I like her. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. And then what's her name? Abby. 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 I like Abby, yeah. She's she said, um, she said, yeah, um, yeah I'm in Hertfordshire. I live close. No, this is Hertfordshire. No, she doesn't, yeah. Not many people know where that is. Not many people know where that is. I feel like Sammy was being a bit. Sammy, you've been there, bro. No, yeah. I feel like Sammy was being a bit. You might live there. You might go to Ascot. Just, you know. yeah, but I know people that live in it close to Ascot. I feel like people, people just want to say it. Yeah, I, I, I know people yeah, that live in Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to boast. Anyway. And then obviously you've got Molly. Molly. You don't need any The way Molly was walking in, she was walk, the way she was jiggling her tits and <laughs> walking and in, like, them it was, by the girl's fine, though. It was so... She's just, a fine babe now. She got me. She, she's, she's attractive, but the Casa Moore girls are good looking as well. And mm. for me, I just feel like they're just taking away from the Casa Amor girls yeah. by bringing her back. Like, they're yeah. not giving them an opportunity to shine. No, I agree. Do you know what I mean? And it's annoying. Because it's almost like everything has just become about her. And it's like, it's, it's not like her and, her and um, Zach were closed off before she left. Like, mm. you lot just got to, got to know each other. Like, I, I don't understand the whole storyline. Like, it's, it just feels a little bit forced and just, not even a little bit, it's very it's forced. Very, very forced. And the producers are blatantly trying to make Molly a star. Mm. And nobody cares. I'm going to be very angry because I feel like they are trying to make this whole recoupling thing. Mm. Her and Zach. And it's like, oh, lost romance. Mm. And then they get together. And then they, I don't want that shit. I just, no one is invested in this shit. No one cares. Literally, I, no one cares about this. I just hope the new girls are not intimidated and they do actually get to know Zach. Yeah. Because it almost feels like she's made a point of saying, I've come here for Zach. Because yeah. you know I mean? none of the other guys are going to touch her. So she's literally going to be Mitch Zach. Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch has got his... Then again, just... I think he might try I it. Feel like, either way, Molly's coming back to the villa, isn't it? Because mm. if Zach don't pick her, Mitch, Mitch will. Pick her, mm. Which is what's pissing me off the most. Mm. So she's getting more screen time. Than well, I feel, I feel like Mitch will only pick her if he doesn't develop a connection with one of the other girls. I feel like if, if he actually develops something like that with potential with the other girls. Mm -hmm. That's something genuine, not something that he's forcing. I don't think he's gonna pick Molly. He's not, he he's will, not gonna, he's gonna pick her. He if, won't. If, if, if Zach don't, he will. He will pick her. Last time. Yeah, he'll pick her anytime. Yeah, I did it for you. Yeah, yeah, I did it for you. I know you still want it. This <laughs> guy, this is how they kept her in. What the fuck is he still there for? What, what if, even, yeah, but if it's a public voting for him, isn't it? Mm. But if, if, even, if, right, if even if he meets somebody that he actually gets on with, you think he's still gonna say? I think once, I think once, I think the thing is, unless, Unless the new girls are really, really good actresses, I think I, d I doubt he's going to have a genuine connection exactly. with any of them because Mitch, there's something about Mitch that turns women off. He's too. So cool. those any, anybody that couples up with Mitch, trust me, they're, 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 they're just, just doing it to get in the house. Gabby's actually likes him. Gabby, they're faking. They're, I'm, they're, I'm sure it was Gabby. Wait, Gabby, uh, she just wants to get in the house. Like I'm sure it was That's her. Fake. I'm sure it was her. She said, "I surprised her." Like, oh, she, they, he was surprised. They just want to get in the she house. There's something, there's something about Mitch's countenance that turns women off. I'm yeah. telling you. So any woman in that, I'm talking about in the house. Any woman in that house that is saying they like Mitch, I'm, they're just it's doing it to get into the real, into the main house. Clearly, oh. remember they've all been watching the show as well, so they know yeah. Mitch is, is desperate. probably a favorite and he's yeah. desperate. So that's easy pickings for them to yeah. come back into the main room. Well, let's see, let's see how that goes. But but those, those are the girls. Um, I, I like the pick. I like the pickings. Um, yeah. You know, and we'll the see. guys actually. They're yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I really, I really hope that um, 
what's what's the um, what's the black girl's name in the cassette uh, hall? Gabby. No. Danielle. Danielle. I really hope Danielle actually speaks to someone because mm. last cassette hall, Linda, it, they they hardly showed her. Apparently, she did speak to Shaq. But it was it was never shown. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So hopefully Danielle does get some airtime. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So um all yeah, right, so, so so let's talk about the girls. So the girls, they all all of them paired up with different guys in terms of getting in the bed. Um, the main girls. Yeah, the main girls. Um KD wasn't happy. You, I mean she didn't yeah, say she's she didn't say she wasn't she happy, was, but it's almost like she ended up with the 20 year old, didn't she? In bed, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. She wanted uh, Uzi. I think yeah. she mainly wanted Uzi. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like Uzi's got tunnel vision. I mean, yeah. okay, so let's just let's just talk about the elephant in the room now. So the elephant in the so we're talking about um, Ella and Uzi and what we think of. Or, or have you guys any, got anything to add to that? Um, the only thing I've got to add is I thought it was quite interesting that Ella kept on mentioning that even to him, yeah, you were supposed to help me out. Yeah. Like, it's like she said it about four times, and he was like, no, I wasn't. She was like, yeah. and then after a while, he was like, oh, all right, then, yeah. And it's giving the whole time forgetting me, yeah. my name thing. She's got something. It's giving that thing. Because bionic yeah. in her memory, because Cause, she remembers everything. Because don't you remember, like, in the first week, Ella kept on going around to all of the guys, so who's your top? Who do you like to me, mm. innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost like, She's it's like it's you, want, you, want, you want your ego yeah. massage, yeah. and you want, you want that, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, um, for somebody to... Validate. validate. You want that yeah. validation, then then you're gonna go back to high anyway. Yeah. Someone that won't give you any. So, so it's, it's, a, it's, a little, it's a little, it's a little bit strange because obviously Uzi made a point of saying to her that you've literally been miserable more mm. than you have been happy, mm. and you're you're supposed to be in a honeymoon phase. Mm. So that's not really looking good, is it? She she didn't really say anything to that. Mm. So I like the fact that Uzi basically called that out that your relationship is not sweetness and light. So mm. you know, if anything, your relationship is is that is not dead, but it's toxic yeah mm. your relationship is toxic and your man is making you miserable mm. so you need to give me a chance do you know what i mean so i like the fact that he lays it he lays it out his cards yeah. on the table yeah. because if, if she does end up bringing uzi back that, that will be huge insane. that I will wish. be huge for ella that will be I huge wish. but somebody like ty he's not going to forgive that so she should just know that if she brings Uzi back, that's it for her and Ty. I don't think it is. Ty, I don't think Ty would forgive that. The only if Ty wants to win, he'll forgive. Her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only way, the only way it won't be forgivable is if she does stuff with Uzi. Okay, that's true. Yeah. yeah. If she doesn't do anything with Uzi, then Ty, because obviously they're supposed to be closed off. Mm. So it's a different, it's different. Her, what her situation is different to what Catherine has got with Scott. Yeah. Her and um, um, Ty have basically said they're not talking to anybody else. Mm. Any bombshells, whatever, they're closed off. They're focused on each other. Mm. So if she goes and kisses Uzi in Casa Amor and then come, brings him back, then obviously Ty's going to have something to say because it's, it's going to be like, especially if you're tired of doing anything, mm. then it's going to be like, you know, you betrayed me. Mm. So I think that's a, that's a different conversation. Mm. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I'm 50-50 with Ella. I, mm. I think it's possible. Not 50-50. I'm 40-60. Yeah, she, she's not bringing anyone she, back. Yeah, she's not bringing anyone back. Even if they show Ty in bed with another woman, she is still coming back single. Yeah. I'm telling you. She, uh, uh, she's too focused. She, she, yeah. Okay, so the elephant in the room is Catherine. Catherine. Catherine basically has a couple of conversations with um, Elon, and the conversations look really, they, they go really well. Like they, they, they've got good energy, the banter's there, they obviously fancy each other. Um, and then basically they showed a clip for tomorrow's episode, and it shows them leaning in for a kiss. Mm. So, mm. you know, I think that's why basically people are basically calling Catherine out. Now, for me, I'm happy that during the episode they showed Scott make the comment that he made. Yeah, exactly. but it's quite obvious that Scott is also going to explore his options as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do you feel about King? So, obviously, because Scott made those comments, I was like, okay, cool, whatever, in it, whatever happens, happens. I'm just praying that I just don't want it to only be Catherine that brings back someone and not Scott. That's what I don't want. Because it's going to, the optics are just going to not look good for Catherine. That's all I'm saying. Why? Oh, and why? We, we, you know why, isn't it? Uh, 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 someone that was in a kind of, not a relationship, but things were going well, isn't it? And then, but you're the only one who brought someone back, and the guy that's there is just waiting for you. But the that's thing is, look good. But, but the thing is, I, I hear what you're saying, yeah? Mm. If we haven't had a whole week of the guys in the house calling Scott a game player. Mm. I, th I, yeah. I, think, I think this scenario is slightly different because. Mm. They have put so much doubt into everybody's minds. Look, it's Catherine, because even people on Twitter have been agreeing with the guys. Mm, saying that, saying that, that yes, Scott's lying, yeah. Scott's lying, yeah, you don't like Catherine, look how he's shifty, he looks shifty, and blah, blah. So 
I personally don't think that Catherine. I I'm actually quite surprised that people are judging Catherine. To be honest, yeah. I'm actually quite surprised considering that most of you have been staying at Scott Don't Like Her. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm even surprised. So like, what do you want her to do? Always you always moving to, the goalposts. Yeah. For when black it comes women, to black women, like yeah. you want to sit there and just hope that um, Scott don't stray and then she'll come back to the house looking like an idiot. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like okay, so what what is the okay? So let's let's ask people in the comments. What is your problem? Is your problem that she's kissing Elon? That she's possibly kissing him because it could be editing, or is your issue that she's moving? That she's possibly going to bring somebody back. What is the issue, guys? I thought my issue is the kissing. Really? Yeah. So is what? She because like you lot said yesterday, mm. if she don't do anything with the guy, but she still brings him back, that's different, isn't it? But you're already lifting him up there after you and him were doing, you and Scott were doing Bonnie and Clyde in the in the main thread. You're friending yourselves, and now they're not closed off. So, so what? What I'm saying, maybe. It's, if she brought him, if she brought the guy back without kissing him, maybe I would. Okay. I would different, but at the moment I'm just like. Oh, so, so, what, so, so what if she doesn't bring him back? And she just lifts him up. Yeah. What if, what if she don't bring him back? Listen, I ain't going for. Listen, I want. I want. I want Catherine to have a time of her life. I want me too. If Catherine can kiss everybody, I'll be happy with that. Yeah. And listen, say I want Catherine to go all out and fully immerse herself in the experience. Yeah. I want her to do it and. At the end of the day, it's from from what Scott has said, it's quite obvious that he's gonna do the same thing. But so at the end of the day, why should she hold back? Why should she hold back? At the end of the day, he's already making jokes about missing out, oh please, when the girls come. I'm not do you yeah. know what I mean? Well, that, at the end of the day, Catherine, any time, any time. How do you know it's a joke? Is that a joke? Saying, I'm joking. But is that a joke? That's what we talk about. Though. I'll just say what he's saying. When they ask, <laughs> when they ask, when they ask Catherine about Scott, she's saying, "I mean, Scott is a going well. It's got something because she's not making, she's not cracking jokes on Scott at Scott's expense." Yeah, she did. She's him. not making Scott the just like, just 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 and listen, like, at the end of the day, tomorrow, they are blatantly going to show K Scott kissing somebody else. So at the end of the day, do you want to bet? I don't think they will. I think I think he will kiss someone, but I don't I don't think he's going to do it outside of a challenge yet. Yeah, he's, 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 not gonna do it yet. he's not going to do it yet. He's, he's, Scott is going to hold out for as long oh. as possible, especially because all of the guys have been calling him a game player. He's going to hold out for, he might stray. But not that fast. I tell you, I tell you when I tell you when Scott, I tell you if I tell you what is gonna make Scott go quick is if Tyreek if Tyreek starts, you know, playing the field, Scott oh, okay, Scott will yeah. yeah Scott, Scott that's what's gonna do. Yeah, because obviously Tyreek is the main Tyreek is the main one, basically telling that he's a game player. And at the end of the day, when they had their chat in the morning, all of the guys said the only person that needs to be careful is Tyreek. Mm. Nobody, everybody else is fair game. Mm. Didn't okay, they say so that? You're saying if Tyreek misses around, then Scott's like, all right, then I've got free reign now. Cause... I'm just saying that how Scott is Scott is not gonna he's not gonna be tactical in the way that he does it, he's just gonna go for it. Mm. But I still think mm. Scott, I still think he's gonna go for it. I don't think Scott is gonna hold back. I think Scott is gonna do his thing just like everybody else is gonna do their thing, including Tyreek. So anyway, um, someone said the only oh, people sorry. hating Elon. Are black women and simps. Who's taking Elon? Who's taking Elon? Who's taking Elon? Someone says that he looks. Which I actually agree. He looks like Jeffrey from Fresh Prince. A little bit. Jeffrey from Fresh Prince. And he does. A little Literally, bit. Well, his mouth area. But and his nose. But what's wrong with that? He's still a good looking guy. Like, no one's saying, no one's saying yeah. he's, he's a waiter. Oh, oh, who's gosh, saying Gosh, guys, man. Oh, seriously, not. TCA, can you just fuck off? Like, seriously. Hey. No, but it's annoying. It's kind of like, why have you got to always be cooning? Like it's irritating because they're calling Jeffrey. Yeah, because I, I, I just know that. Ugly. No, but what, yeah, but yeah, but obviously, yeah, but obviously, it's not a compliment, is it? They, 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 they're, they're obviously using it in a way yeah, to yeah, say that he's ugly. Yeah, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's call a thing a thing. Yeah, yeah. And any any black person that comes in that that's got that's got quote unquote black features mm. that looks like a black man, it ain't got no mix, it ain't got no nothing. You don't mm. got something to say. Mm. Or black woman. Do you know what I mean? It's like, come on. At the end of the day, Catherine is blatantly one of the baddest women in that house, but you don't have got something to say mm. because she's dark skin. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, come on. Anyway, um, um, yeah, so that's it really. I mean, it was, you know, it's a good episode. Oh, Z Zach and um, Molly's conversation. Oh, who oh, cares? It was, it literally lasted for the half of the show. It was literally 30 minutes long. She was asking a pointless question about, oh, did you think about me? Or were you thinking about me? But Zach was that. He was that. Like, uh, 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 he was that. Uh, 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 that guy, that boy, that little boy. I was like, 
what was that? You literally went up for 24 minutes. And the drag Oh, that meme. Oh, that meme. Oh, that meme of the parents waiting for the child to finish talking and they just slammed the door. That's the word. That was so rubbish. It was just irritating. What is the point of that question? It was kind of like, no, you weren't thinking about you. At the end of the day, you were out of the house and you were cracking on with Casey and cracking on with Whitney. Like, the point is, he didn't follow you. So what were you expecting him to do? Like, just sit back with Mitch and just like, out of the Obviously, he's going to crack on because he didn't come with you. So he was no, but she was saying, yeah, but it was like two days and you already want to kiss Katie. Like, I want to know what you were thinking. I just were you thinking about me? We know what he was thinking. <laughs> he, he was like, his leg over, it. It. The the his leg over, mate. Like, what do you think he was thinking? The, cam the, the cameramen were doing him dirty, you know, the way they kept on showing him from the back. Mm. <laughs> oh, the, the, the flanks. He's always doing side punches, you know. He's That's it, I side, agree. Side punches ain't going to fix that. And a bit of lipo. Side punches. A little bit of lipo. It's like when they were walking, I was thinking, Molly's got, the, Molly's got enough back for the both of them. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you bum, you mean? Yeah, back and waist. She claps them cheeks. Yeah, That's how she, she gives them, <laughs> them perk. She's so she's always trying to She always pulls her, she always pulls her. She always pulls her, so I'm going to mess it up on. 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 Mess it Okay, so basically, before Ew. okay, so basically, before Molly came on when she was doing her press runs, she basically said that other than Zach, she's got her eye on Scott. Go for it. Bitch. So I think obviously she's in Molly's in there to play games, in it. That's obviously what she's there for. She's in there to play games and to cause drama. So she walked away from their drag conversation with between her and Zach, and I definitely think she's going to make a play for Scott. So I hope so. I hope, she, I hope she doesn't just come in just for Zach. That would just be boring. I want Scott to reject her. He that's, that's my prayer. I think he I will. I, I don't her. think none of the guys are going to touch Molly. Yeah. They're not, they're not, they're not, none of them are going to entertain Molly. They're not going to because Zach is there and Zach's their friend. But if no, she I mean, makes it no. clear, but if she makes it clear that she only came in to give him a piece of her mind and she's, and I'm here for you. But she didn't do Scott any mind though. What mind did she give there? What did she give her any mind? She was and she got up and walked off mm. and slapped her. Tip. I guarantee you, Molly is going to make a play for Scott, and, 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 and he's he's going to go for it. I don't think so. All right, and that all that bro code as well, because mm. ain't, ain't ain't Zach the only one. Yeah, but Zach, but, but, but Zach is going to move. But once once Molly lets Zach know she's not interested, Zach's going to pack on for nah, one else. Scott is not. Doing this Listen, Zach is giving Zach is Zach has got a point to prove now. He's, he needs to show Molly that there was something wrong with him. Somebody done in magic. That's the reason why he was straight, but now she's here. He's the one that she wants. You are the love of my life. You look good though. You look good though. You look good though. Anyway, I think that's it. So obviously tomorrow's gonna be a good episode. Another, you know, Casa Amore is definitely Casa Amore. Um, it's looking interesting. So so yeah, let's let's see how it goes. Um all right guys, let us know. Okay, so what's the emoji? It's your bikini.
Just about to kiss and kiss. Oh, how long is it? Come on. How long is it? Then you just been lipsing him up in bed instead, innit? Like, mm. that's it. But you're better. not closed off. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, guys. Where are the video? How many likes have we got? There's only 100 likes, and this is something we're going to share. Come on, guys. Don't make me come there, nah, man. You get me. Come don't on, my G. Don't, don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that, bro. 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 Light the video, my G. Light the video, my G. Light the video, my G. Come on, guys. Have you liked it? What's the score? Let's do the outro now. Come on. All right, guys. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Because if you miss it, you miss it. Baby girl.